Rebirth is finally back, but don't get too excited. Rebirth has returned with a plethora of bugs. I'm not even gonna say anything here. I'm just gonna let you watch these reactions. What am I hearing? How did they mess it up this bad? Why does the audio sound like this? On me, two. Down one. Down two. Got an AK? Don't worry, oh, Booyah! I can't hear you! Uh, no, I don't know what's going on! I don't know what's going on! I would love to talk, but it sounds like I'm in a washing machine! I don't know what's going on! I swear I'm in a washing machine. It sounds like like there's like metal. Like the whole prison's made of metal. You don't hear that? Enemy advanced UAV overhead. Okay, I hear that, yeah. I hear here too. Oh, I'm not doing that. Okay. Enemy okay. Enemy okay. Enemy okay. Enemy sounds like an elevator going up and down. Not yeah, it's just, yeah, it sounds like machinery. And like clickety clanky. And then like if somebody's flying above me in here, like I hear the parachute air. Is it okay to say I'm not really surprised by this? I guess anybody could have guessed that Rebirth integrating into this new war zone was going to cause some issues. But I'm going to be honest, I did not expect this. I woke up in the morning and I put out a tweet. I said, heard they ruined Rebirth. Talk to me. How bad is it? And streamer Sir Gaim says, at this point, I'd really be on Warzone 2, Ashika Island, brother. Now, for anybody to even suggest Warzone 2 has got to show you how bad this actually is. So what exactly is wrong? First and foremost, for whatever reason, the lighting is completely different. It's like they moved the contrast level significantly and made everything really, really dark. As you saw in the gameplay earlier, when going into buildings and going around corners, you cannot see a single thing. I'm telling you, there's people that only play Rebirth Island and were incredibly excited and then got this. Not only has the lighting changed, but go inside a prison and just hear how this sounds. This generally sounds like they shrunk you down, put you in a washing machine, and started that up. Again, how this happened, I don't know, but I do have a theory. Around early October, Call of Duty put out a tweet that pretty much said that they're introducing spatial audio to Call of Duty. They specifically said, footstep audio now echoes and carries throughout hallways thanks to a work with Microsoft Project Acoustic. It will simulate the way the sound waves bounce and propagate through the world down. So watch this video and listen to this with headphones. What I think is somewhere doing bringing Rebirth back, they messed this up. And for whatever reason, it sounds like you're in the middle of a cave and sounds absolutely horrible. I touched on this subject before, but it seems like every year it's the same thing when it comes to Warzone integrating. Every year, a new Call of Duty comes out and they're forced to figure out a way on how to integrate it into Warzone, which without fail always introduces an insane amount of issues. For example, just in the last week, footstep audio being non-existent, Rebirth Island being incredibly dark, Rebirth Island having no audio, and all the forward steps that we had in the last year were taken back. I really wonder if it's time to step back and see if Warzone needs to have its own identity. Something completely separate from multiplayer. Hold on, hold on, stop the video. Call of Duty has just tweeted out. Call of Duty says, we've removed Rebirth Island from the playlist while we investigate map specific issues. Other maps and modes remain unaffected. We will post updates here when we have more to share. Okay, now I can say I am genuinely mind blown. I got a lot of questions, but let's see what some streamers had to say. Hunter TV said, are you f***ing serious, dog? YouTuber Tactical Brit said, Our expectations for you were low, but holy... And popular news account Modern Warzone did the skull face. YouTuber Zyro said, Bugs, 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 and more bugs. Rebirth Island back for two hours to be removed. A timeline full of complaints, nerfs to the fun things within the first three days. Hate to say it, but I'm really disappointed in the launch of this Warzone, and I'm not one for being negative. And then just to put the icing on the cake, Benny Central said, Said, I don't understand how the audio on Warzone has actually got passed through quality control. One round of Rebirth Island and anyone with ears can tell it's completely chalked. Walking through prison sounds like I'm on the tube. Now I'm trying to be as respectable as possible, but genuinely, does any of this go through quality control? Do they play test these things before introducing it to the public? Because I agree with Benny. One game of play testing could have prevented all this. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and know that it's probably not as easy as I think it is. Maybe they do play test it maybe 
they test everything before launching. And then somewhere through the process of integrating into the new Warzone, something messes up. I'm playing devil's advocate here, but at the same time, it's kind of getting to the point where this shouldn't even be a thing. I know a lot of people feel the same way I do. For example, the owner of the largest Call of Duty Twitter account, Charlie Intel, had this to say. He said, someone at Activision's gotta figure out how to stop this with Warzone every year. All these new features break half the game, wait six months before the entire game is fixed, and then redo it again. Unk is spitting. I really do hope that someone over there can figure this out. Because like clockwork, this has happened every single year on every single integration. With them making the decision to take Rebirth out, I want you guys in the comments to let me know, was this the right decision in your eyes? If the audio is that scuffed, and if the visibility is that bad, was it the right move to take it out? I bet there's so many people that got off work and were hoping they were gonna get to play Rebirth just to find out it was taken away. Me personally, I don't really know where I sit here, but I will say that it should have never gone out to begin with if they knew it was going to be this scuffed. Obviously, common sense would tell you that they didn't know, but that right there is an issue. Why was no one aware that these issues were happening? Was there no way to check? Was there nobody testing? I'm assuming that if you're still watching this video, it's because you genuinely enjoy Rebirth Island. There is genuinely a cult-like following to this map. And I'm gonna be honest, a lot of people were let down by this on one hand you do what they did they find out it has issues they take it down they fix it and then they put it back up in let's say a week but then on the opposite hand do you leave the map up with all of its issues hoping that people don't notice too much at the end of the day we don't know what they're gonna do rebirth could be back in a day or even a week what makes rebirth such an amazing map and why does the community love it so so much this got me thinking why has there not been any other map that people love just as much? YouTuber Jay Coochie said something similar. He said, can anyone explain how multiple design teams are unable to create a resurgence map better than Rebirth in four years? Four years of straight trash, how? Now, I don't completely agree with this. I do think we've had a couple decent maps, but why is Rebirth so, so loved? And is it just comfortability from everybody or is Rebirth Island genuinely just a good map? Within the last five years or so, there's been a total of about five resurgence maps. Rebirth Island, Fortune's Keep, Ashika Island, Bondle, and then now Area 99. Out of all of these maps, I'm sure there's a couple that you guys enjoy, but for the most part, Rebirth Island is the golden child of resurgence. Fortune's Keep, a lot of people complain that it was too out in the open and that there was many ways where you can get shot from. Let's not even begin to discuss Ashika Island, which is arguably the most hated resurgence map of all time. That map genuinely had no flow and was honestly really depressing to look at. Then Vondel, in my opinion, which was actually pretty good, a lot of people felt that it was too big and they were calling it a glorified BR map. Now, Area 99 comes out and there's a lot of mixed reviews on it. Some people love it, including myself, but then some people hate it and say that it's third party after third party after third party. I do see where people are coming from, but I do think that we should give Area 99 a chance. Streamer Joe Woe said, maybe a hot take here, but I wish they wouldn't have dropped Rebirth Island and given more people a chance to play Area 99 longer. We've played Rebirth for genuinely five years now, counting Blackout. Sometimes change is good for a little while. I personally agree with Joe here. At the end of the day, Rebirth is king, but I do hope to see a new map that comes out that people genuinely love just as much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I guess the big question is, will we ever get a map that's better than Rebirth or will that just be the gold standard forever?